Mr. Speaker, I rise today on behalf of those who do not have a voice today in this debate, and that's the over 500 servicemen and women who died in Iraq because of the export of vehicle-borne IED technology by Iran, by the brutal terrorist leader Qasem Soleimani, who used money from Iran, and he will be getting more money in order to export with the sole purpose to kill American troops and the thousands who were wounded. I deployed to this region six times in my military career, and our military is concerned about this administration turning their back on the men and women who died and the, the strength that they need in order to keep that region safe and secure. This is a slap in the face to those who paid that sacrifice. Qasem Soleimani is a brutal man. We have studied him throughout my entire military career. He is exporting terror all over the region and not just in the region. He's responsible for deaths in places like India and Latin America. He is funding money to the Assad regime, over 250,000 dead. Hezbollah and Hamas, I stood a few weeks ago on the edge of the Gaza Strip, where thousands of rockets were launched last summer, killing innocent civilians in Israel. Israelis have seven to 30 seconds to run to shelter when these rockets are coming. They are funded and exported by Qasem Soleimani and Iran. We stood up on the northern border, near where Hezbollah, funded by Iran, is stockpiling over 100,000 rockets, ready to launch at the Israeli people. This is a dangerous deal. And this is not about a choice between this deal or war. Those of us who served in the military, we want war less than anybody else. We know the price. We want diplomacy. And those sanctions were working. We just cranked them up in the last 18 months. They are cash-strapped in Iran. They are fighting in between their, uh, their, their desires and their different factions of how are they going to use that money to continue to move their nuclear program for, forward or export terror. We have them exactly where we wanted, and then we gave up. If we give additional them the funds, seconds. You know, ladies, if we give them these for an additional 15 seconds, with the arms embargo and the ICB embargo, it is going to be a more dangerous military action, and more American lives will be lost. It is not this deal in war. It's this deal in potentially war. And on behalf of our American troops, I'd ask you to please vote against this deal. It is dangerous for the many reasons my colleagues have mentioned, but do it on behalf of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.